get one. It has been a few years since I've done a direct comparison between an Intel and AMD. Now I'm lucky enough to have two Dell Pro 16 that is configured the exact same besides the processor. So we get a very good comparison of the temperatures, the battery life, the fan noise, and also the performance. Now again, they're both configured with 16 gigs of memory. We've got 256. SSD, the displays are configured the exact same, everything the exact same there besides the processor. So on the right, which we have the silver one, is the Intel. Now this is the Intel Core Ultra 5 and it's Arrow Lake. And then we also have the AMD Ryzen Pro 5. And this is going to be a fantastic comparison between the two. So let's get on with the show. Look at the processor performance, we can see that the AMD pretty much dominates the multi-core tasks. Now this is no surprise that they've been doing this for quite a number of years. Overall, the AMD has great CPU throughput, but the Intel does edge ahead in the single core tasks, which means it is ideal for the lightly threaded workloads if you're looking for Intel, but we do find later in the testers that, and also most applications is multi-threaded. Now just to give you a quick background on my battery life test and the morphology and the test conditions. Now this is pretty much standard across all my battery life tests in this channel. I do set the screen brightness to 200 nits. I do calibrate each screen to actually achieve as close as possible to 200 nits. And I do set the volume of the speakers to 20% and the actual power scheme of windows to best power efficiency and i also tested out this in microsoft teams i actually did a microsoft teams video conference between the two computers they actually had the same pretty much looking at the same thing so hopefully we get the same amount of pixels with the same amount of colors and i do instead set the screen brightness to 60 percent instead of 200 nits the reason why i set to 60 percent in this case because it's a lot easier to actually press the buttons to get around about 60 percent whereas with 200 nits you do need to have some hardware collaboration tools to actually achieve that and also set the volume at 50 percent and also still st keep the windows power scheme mode to best power efficiency now i do have the video background blurring or replacement and so that is enabled as most people do actually use that in a teams or corporate environment uh, so that is to just to help most people out this is a real life test and does it engage in the ai system itself to follow this so looking at the results of the battery life test now in the video playback we can definitely see a nice clear winner of the AMD doing way better in the productivity and office type of work it is anywhere between 2 to about 10% now with the actual gaming side that's an interesting one this was an overall Intel win now I did test this out a few times but in the end Intel did extremely amazing on gaming now how does that kind of affect for the other type of work so again this is more probably for your single core tasks this is where gaming kind of excels at now what's also really interesting is the actual Microsoft Teams now the AMD actually did a lot better you're looking at around about 12.5 percent overall better for I just did a quick drain on 10% so I pretty much did 90% to 80% and see what it times took at and that was around about 36 minutes for AMD and the Intel took 32 minutes and you can pretty much draw from that. Now while we're testing out the teams it's really interesting to see the difference between the two now with the Intel it actually has higher unionization I've seen it mostly around about 19 to 20% and speed is around about 1.4 to 1.5 gigahertz. You now with the AMD though, it sits really pretty much constant at 14% for utilization, and it goes at 2.3 to about 2.4 gigahertz. So it's faster than that, but its utilization is a lot less. And also it's around about using about 25 seconds in terms of the uh, battery saving power like it does take this will click on faster uh, and this 25 seconds later this will click itself so it's about 25 seconds they will start at the exact same time just interesting to note so overall 
the AMD is better in a battery life. Now this is for office productivity work than anything else. As for the gaming performance, and this is a business laptop, it's not really that relevant, but I still performed it anyway. And you'll see that it's not really that much of a difference between the two. I'll call, pretty much say it would be a tie on this one here. Now as for the disc performance, the actual disc performance, is pretty much a very clear winner of the AMD, pretty much trounced over the Intel version, and it just really is what it is. With the synthetic office productivity benchmarks, I pretty much say it's a mixed bag here. It's anywhere between two to four percent. I wouldn't actually say it's going to be quite a big workload, but then again, this isn't really the actual feeling between the two. You won't feel that much difference, especially in opening word for that's probably point two of a second quicker is not going to make a noticeable difference for anyone so i don't really find it big in terms of amd or intel in the real world now looking at the temperatures now when i took my measurement the ambient temperature room was 19 degrees celsius now overall i actually found that the amd generally ran cooler most of the time until you hit around about 80% workload and then it pretty much release the flood gates and allows it to run at its best now whereas intel you do find it runs generally hotter overall until 100 percent now i have a feeling that the intel version is capped a little bit as you'll see that the internal core temperature is a lot lower compared to the amd version at 100 percent load so i have a feeling what i'll say is that amd is allowing its process to run at its max and you do see the performance a lot better because i actually found that most of the time when it was doing 100 percent load it was sitting at pretty much a stable at 4 gigahertz whereas the intel core ultra 5 now that was ranging anywhere between 2.2 to about 2.5 gigahertz so even just the raw speed of the processor wasn't hitting it as fast as the AMD. And as for the system noise level, again, this was reflected in the fan spinning up itself. Now, I, again, I found that the AMD didn't really spin up its fan that much until you hit around about, I would say, about 70 percent and then you will start to hear it spinning up and it is only very slightly above the intel version at max speed so it's one decibel difference but generally it was a much more quieter system and cooler system than the intel version so i actually will say for your typical office work it is usually just web browsing or your Microsoft Office applications and your video conferencing and your typical processor unionization generally stays anywhere between 0 to 40%. So I would say anything like you see an under the 50% low, which you'll see in this table here, that you actually, I actually find that the AMD is productively operates more cooler and quieter in a general office environment having a look at the more demanding professional applications we can pretty much see that the amd pretty much trumps over the intel version and it's not by a small bit it's quite a bit there as sometimes you'll see double to triple fast figures now I would actually say these applications that you'll see anywhere from 3D to CAD work and medical work, these are your systems that you will probably run. You'll probably run these with your dedicated graphics. This is your integrated graphics and the process does help massively in it still, but this gives you a good base on the two. And if you're actually going to configure one of these with the dedicated graphics this is still a very nice indication on which one to actually choose from to assist on getting the best performance but i think tagged in with your especially your thermals you are going to find that amd is going to hit a lot better and just be more better performance now price wise this will depend on vendor to vendor on your relationship but generally you will find that AMD version is a tad slightly cheaper than the Intel version now combine that with the better battery life the better performance and also it generally runs cooler 
and a little bit quieter than the Intel version, I definitely would consider the AMD version. Unless your business or enterprise environment is really, really dependent on Intel, then AMD is a great choice here. Now, I hope you find this video informative and enjoyed it. If you did, even support my channel, smash that like button for me, share this video, that's helped me out. And as always, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. And I'll see you next video.